six people for Christmas dinner only, they're more likely to want a smaller turkey. So we can alter the diet a little bit. We'll um, include more whole wheat into the ration, which will sort of maintain them rather than grow them because wheat's quite low in protein. In Solihull, Woods Farm plants around 40,000 trees every year, from a small spruce for a lounge to giant Nordman firs for swanky hotels. They've already taken orders from across the UK. So what do the coronavirus restrictions mean for them? Well, hopefully they'll want to make a something of Christmas special, so hopefully more, a few more people might have a tree. But we will lose commercial jobs where um, hotels and restaurants are, have closed and are not able to have a tree. The good point is we grow the trees here, we've got plenty of trees, we just don't need to cut the trees if, if the business is, shows a bit of a downturn. We've all been left wondering whether the traditions and magic of Christmas will still be there, or will Santa be sanitised? Just try and stop him. I was granted an audience with the big guy at Stapfold Barn Railway in Tamworth. Hello! Father Christmas, if, if you've got a present for us in your grotto, how close can, can we get to, to you to get the present? Oh, well, Ben, don't you worry. Everything's going to be super safe. Obviously, we are going to have to keep a three metre distance, but by using a bit of Christmas magic, we're going to make sure everybody gets a present. We want all the boys and girls to be happy, and Christmas is most definitely going to happen. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! The Christmas party season may be very different this year, but businesses that rely on festive trade are determined to maintain a sense of spirit and humour to keep us all safe. Though it may be a little slim down this year. Excuse me, thank you, thank you. How do you feel about the rule of six? A bit delicate, yeah. Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today, Tamworth. Oh dear, don't have nightmares. Uh, that is all from us here at the Lake Team. Have a good night, I'll leave you the forecast from Shafali. Bye for now. Hello, a very good evening to you. Well, we've got a lovely picture here from Colbrook Dale in Shropshire. This, however, is just a trickle compared to what we've had and what we are seeing and will see very soon. We've got this warning in place for heavy rain through the next few hours. It's in place until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning where you could get 20 to 30 millimetres of rain, just over an inch of rain in some of the worst case scenarios. But it's a very active front that's moving across us and it'll be with us throughout the night. So we're looking at heavy rain, wet, windy conditions, uh, mild conditions with temperatures only falling to 9 to 12 Celsius, but there could be some mist as well developing into the morning tomorrow, and there could be a clap of thunder here and there too. But the whole lot shifts southeastward through the morning tomorrow, leaving us with much dry conditions and even some sunshine into the afternoon, and still quite warm here, or mild at least, for the time of year in the south of the region with highs of 17 Celsius. As for Friday, that is going to be uh, fairly wet too, as another front pushes southeastwards through the course of the day. Some heavy bursts of rain, but some drier conditions on either side of that. That's it from me. The National Forecast is next. I'll leave you now with the outlook for the next few days. Good night.